we're going to measure this angle. Uh, and here you can see that this angle, we're not measuring uh, inside this, well, I guess a more conventional angle. We're going to measure this reflex angle. This larger one here. So the way we need to do this is to think about uh, a whole circle. So if we have a whole circle, let's draw a whole circle here, we know that the whole thing is 360 degrees, right? So the whole circle and it's 360 degrees. If I take a chunk out of it here, well, that will be worth X. And this all the way around here will be worth 360 minus whatever that X was. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure this smaller angle on the inside there. And then we're going to minus it from 360. And that will give us that amount right there. So let's do that. Take the compass, uh, the protractor, sorry, and put it as accurately as we can, the crosshairs as accurately as we can on that point. We put this baseline of the protractor on one of the arms of the angle as accurately as we possibly can. Okay, and you can see that there. It's looking pretty good. And now I can measure this angle. And if I look very carefully, I will see that 41, 42 and a half, so I'm gonna say 43. So I'm gonna say this angle here is 43 degrees. Okay, I'll show you again. So from here, okay, I'm starting on zero on the outside here. So I follow this around, not this in, I'm not looking here at the 180. I'm starting at zero. Okay, let me just get that perfect again. So I start at zero. And I work around 10, 20, 30, 40, 1, 2, about 3. So that's 43. Okay, so I'm going to go back to this idea. Okay, so 360, which is a whole circle, minus this chunk of the whole circle right here, which is 43. Use your calculator if, calculator if you want. So I'm not going to. That's 7, 1, 3. So this particular angle is 317 degrees.